So we're gearing up towards what June has on offer for the gaming space. Things like the fifth season of Battlefield, things like the fourth season of Modern Warfare 2, and a few other things. And while FPS fans have a decent bit on offer here across different titles this upcoming month, historically speaking, we normally in a lot of years prior would be seeing another thing drop during this time frame, a new Call of Duty game reveal. So will we be seeing Modern Warfare 3 or whatever a Modern Warfare 3 equivalent is in terms of a sequel to this experience we have now anytime soon? Today, I wanna run down the timetable of events here that we may end up seeing in the near future as well as distant future for what could be a modern warfare 3. as we go along drop your thoughts down below when do you think the next game will be revealed are you looking forward to it are you looking forward to just getting out of this year of modern warfare 2 support or are you perhaps completely jaded by this year what are the case drop your thoughts below but if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay the day with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and other fps games here on the channel i'd love to have in the community finally check out my friends over at gamer advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market but more on them a bit later. For now, let's jump into the discussion on the rumored Modern Warfare 3 and when we may see our first inklings of a reveal here upcoming. So historically speaking, again, if you take a look at May, June, July, and everything like that, we're usually actually in a lot of cases already past when we'd see a Call of Duty be revealed for the upcoming year. The last three years or so, that was really just the only anomaly here out of the overall batch of reveals that we'd end up seeing for Call of Duty reveals in the past. Modern Warfare 2 was revealed on June 8th of last year. Vanguard was August 19th of 2021. Black Ops Cold War was August 26th of 2020. But then you start to get back into this period of normalcy where everything beyond that in the past has been kind of in the month of May or late April, sometimes early June. But for Modern Warfare 2019, we had that revealed on May 30th, 2019. Black Ops 4 was May 18th of 2018. World War II was April 26th of 2017. Infinite Warfare was May 2nd of 2016. Black Ops 3 was kind of a weird one. It had a teaser trailer that confirmed Black Ops 3 on April 9th, but it wasn't fully revealed until the 27th of 2015. Advanced Warfare was May 2nd, Ghost was May 21st, Black Ops 2 was May 1st, Modern Warfare 3 was May 23rd, Black Ops was May 19th, Modern Warfare 2 was May 22nd, World at War was June 20th, and COD 4 Modern Warfare was May 12th of 2007. So you can see that we're, of course, already well past the majority of comparable reveals for what we ended up seeing here. So for a reveal of this upcoming game, is that something that we should now be fast approaching it? Well, according to insiders Tom Henderson and his sources, that's not actually going to be the case. Modern Warfare 2 was that deviation backwards to a sort of air quote normal reveal schedule for what we saw in the years past, whereas Vanguard and Cold War were revealed much later. But it seems like Modern Warfare 3, if we can call that, while it is rumored it's not confirmed, that's something that seems like it's going back now to a later reveal. Reported that the current date is penciled for the reveal of August 1st, stating further, although details are still slim on what the reveal entails, it's understood that the game will be revealed just like some of its recent predecessors by some form of in-game event. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard were both revealed within the original Warzone. So August 1st is still quite a ways away to see our first reveal of anything in regards to the upcoming title. I mean, that's something that based off of timetables that we see right now, June 14th is when we see season four launching, July 12th or so maybe being that mid-season reloaded update for season four as well. But then going until August 1st, the end of season four is when we can expect to see that sort of event happen, which kind of does fall in line with what we could see for like a week long period of when we see that reveal event happen. We saw that with Black Ops Cold War, where intermittently at the end of the season before the update itself, that's something that we'd end up seeing more than one opportunity to take part in that but that's something that's definitely curious. We're still almost a full season away at this point from that reveal. Now, all that considered, while we will start to see things added in for the future with season four, it wouldn't surprise me if we start to see more and more teasers or things leak out as of even a couple of weeks from now with season four's launch, but probably more so in mid-July when that mid-season update happens, if that's going to be something that is revealed in Warzone 2, we'll start to see a lot more stuff leak out in regards to what that will entail, but August 1st is still such a ways away. But the most curious part to me is that we, officially speaking, still have zero word on what this upcoming game will be. No name announcement. While rumored to be Modern Warfare 3, there is no official name announcement. We saw the Modern Warfare 2 name confirmed on April 28th of last year, way earlier than that of the full-on reveal of the gameplay and trailer that we saw. So we're well past that comparable one-to-one -one time frame for that. But even further, going back, the confirmation that it would be 
a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, was something that was debuted as early, officially speaking, as February 11th of last year. But what I think is even crazier than just the fact that we still don't have any inkling of any official name is that we officially still don't know who the developer is. That still hasn't been announced, the primary developer on this title. While it's been reported and it seems like it will be Sledgehammer Games at the helm, we haven't heard anything officially speaking and it's nearly June, which to my knowledge is actually the longest we've ever seen that information held off ever. Usually that primary developer is announced as of the first earnings call with the calendar year in Q1, but nothing officially has been said up until this point about whether it's Sledge, whether it's Infinity Ward continuing on, whether it's somehow Treyarch developing this and their 2024 game, that of course likely not being the case. And everything reported has been that it will be Sledgehammer, but it's just, it's weird to me in that regard. It seems like they're really going to pile everything on all at once, hot drop it all for better or for worse. And I'm sure that it's probably not the reason why, but it is kind of crazy to consider that we broke all conventional marketing by revealing a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019 in February of last year, that we ended up seeing one of the earliest confirmations of the game's title in April, something that was not seen any earlier since 2015 with Black Ops 3. But now this year, we're going back to revealing things to somewhat of a degree, the latest we've ever seen. Again, no developer has been confirmed in almost June. So it's weird that we're going from those polar opposites. However, that said, while we do have the information that the reveal won't be until sometime in early August, there also are additional dates right now that are noteworthy to pencil in. Again, from Tom Henderson, we've heard of things like Beta Weekends 1 and 2, a campaign early access period, and a full release, which as such, those will be October 6th to October 10th for Beta Weekend 1, October 12th to 16th for Beta Weekend 2, a campaign early access period starting on November 2nd, and a full release apparently going to be coming on November 10th. So all things considered, all those dates in the calendar, it's going to be another hot drop type of deal where we get a reveal in early August. We'll have some slight time off, maybe a month or so before any multiplayer reveal then leading into a beta. But a condensed timetable is going to be similar to what we saw most recently with Cold War and Vanguard. Not nearly as much time building up the hype and lead up time to when we see things officially, which it may work out in favor of this game here. I think that fundamentally COD's marketing has always been a bit flawed. I've never really been a fan of revealing stuff super early and then waiting six to seven months before the game can be played. That builds up insane expectations that players and developers may not be able to see eye to eye on, but also pot dropping things all at once in a very condensed timetable doesn't leave a lot of room for communal feedback or anything like that, that if players don't really like what they see, well, they're kind of stuck with it. My preferred would be to allow players to get their hands on early and often, giving devs ample time for feedback and to adjust gameplay accordingly. But realistically, that's never going to happen with the Call of Duty franchise. That's a, that's a pipe dream. Now, beyond that, the only thing I want to touch on is my hopes and expectations here for this. My only personal hope in terms of gameplay changes or stuff like that that I really want to see from a fundamental level would be adjustments to, say, sprint out times and ADS times. Stuff that doesn't take three to five business days to aim your weapon. And fundamentally, I'm okay if that kind of stuff happens. Mechanically speaking, that's the only thing that I'm really bothered by. I can do with or without things like slide adjustments, but just as base movement and a lack of a snappy nature of weaponry goes, that's what really does it for me with this game in particular and hopefully what we can see corrected with next year. But things like red dots on the minimap, a dead silence style perk or ninja perk, I think all of those things are possible to be adjusted with whatever Sledge or whoever is developing this upcoming game decides to work on. I mean, that's happened in the past already. They already did that with Vanguard once. So I think that's possible. Additionally, I think it's also very possible the Hopium's hitting me really hard, but I think that of all the teams that have had their blunders in the past, Sledge has also had equally as many developmental twists their last game to really show what they had in a full developmental window that was advanced warfare back in 2014 almost 10 years ago so while i'm absolutely not saying that this will be the game trust me this year absolutely put the thought of ever saying that off again at least for the foreseeable future by a couple of years i'm not gonna say that but i think there's a chance that they could correct course a bit based off their past corrections of the IW engine with Vanguard, based off fundamental overhauls we've seen with like the division overhaul in World War II, based off their interest in rewarding players with in-game items, both for things like the Grandmaster rewards in Advanced Warfare that were public and did see the light of day, to also some stuff that legally I can't talk about that I know were planned for World War II that never made the light of day. I think that all those pieces are definitely there for the game to be a game the community likes, it's just a matter of making it happen. And again, I just hope that there's enough time in development to do so, because again, the project is once more not a full developmental window. It's why we got zero post-launch support or next to zero post-launch support with Vanguard, but 
I don't know, man, fingers crossed. I'm just hoping that this turns out to be something that the community enjoys way more than what we have now. Of course, there are a lot more people that are enjoying the game that aren't necessarily on social media, on YouTube videos or stuff like that. But I'm sure that you've seen by the comments, by what you're feeling yourself, that this year so far since October hasn't really been it. So fingers crossed we get something that can please a lot of people, if not the majority of people, but we'll see where we go from there. That said, that is when you should be able to look forward to a reveal for what's upcoming here. So still a little bit of a ways off. Right now, we're kind of stuck with Season 4 upcoming with Modern Warfare 2 and some other multi-game stuff here on the channel. But anyways, that's what we're going to call it. Before we wrap everything up, though, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with this team now for over two years, and they've been without a doubt one of, if not the most beneficial partner to my daily productivity. Sitting at a desk for eight to ten hours a day, looking at a monitor, absolutely something you start to feel that wear and tear on your eyes and your vision. So if you guys would like to check out some of the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market, as well as being clinically proven. You can learn more in the link in the description below. It'll take you to the scientific studies, all the information they have here that they can describe way better than I can. But if you guys would like to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO. It'll get you 10% off your entire order. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And as well, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay the day with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and other FPS content. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Modest Man Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.